the next couple few minutes, I would like to talk about something very near and dear to your middle. <laughs> and that is food. Think for 30 seconds about what you ate last. How did it taste? Where is it now? Specifically, I would like to talk about fine dining at the gas pump. Gas is pretty expensive. A lot of people say gas is very expensive. Do you know what this is? This is actually, well, it look, might look like juice, but it's actually gas. I filled it right up. And um, we might think gas is very expensive, but actually it's incredibly cheap. Incredibly cheap. Don't spill this. Glad my hands don't shake. This is 2,000 calories of gasoline. Well, don't have to eat today. That cost me, that cost me 21 cents. That's pretty cheap, right? <clears throat> well, it is cheap. Uh, but there are other things that are cheap as well. So I actually decided I, 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 I am kind of hungry, so I brought myself a snack. And um, anyone ever had this before? This is Chicken McNuggets. Has anyone had these before? I went and got these just before I came. And uh, they, th they thought I was a little crazy, but because I asked for four Chicken McNuggets in a 10 Chicken McNugget uh, box. Okay, so uh, you might think this food is pretty cheap, right? This is, a, this is about 40% chicken in here. And um, it's pretty interesting that food is actually very cheap as well. Uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't really know it, but um, this, is, this is actually rather expensive. Um, it is, this was four fifty at the McDonald's. I just got it. And interestingly, for four ninety nine, you can get twice this. And she tried to sell me twice. Wait, don't you want twice? I mean, you get twice this for only 50 cents more. I said, no, thank you. Um, but anyway, this uh, gasoline is pretty much the same as this chicken McNugget. And many of you perhaps know this, but I think about it often. And look at, look at this. This sort of looks like a bunny. Um, <laughs> gasoline is very linked to the price of food. In fact, it's directly linked to the price of food. You can look at hundreds of years or 50 years of up and down with the price of fuel, and it's exactly the same, tracks the cost of food. Um, and that, uh, this Gasoline is very much used to make our lovely product. Several of our few four products that we eat constantly. This is corn, and number two dent corn. This is not, but that's what goes into um, the production of this. This is actually corn, and of course, gasoline is used to make corn. And this bushel of corn, if we were to buy it, weighs 55 pounds. And guess how much it costs? Does anyone know? Six, right now it's high, the price is high, $6.50 for this bushel of corn. This bushel of corn, if you eat it, would keep you alive with plenty of calories for 45 days. $6.50 for 45 days. Food is cheap. This is food, that's not even gasoline. So when you start to do the math, the chicken in here comes from corn. They feed chicken corn. Three parts corn equals one part chicken meat. The cornstarch in here comes from corn. Um, we got a little wheat in here, but all the all, there's a, about 44 ingredients in here, and most of them are derivatives of corn. 
so if we take the price of corn and then also put in about 10 times as much calories of this to make the processed product, we still come out with our Chicken McNugget meal, which costs $7, this 10 count, and my, I gotta have my soda too, um, $7, and it is, um, the price to produce it is about 61 cents. Okay, maybe 70 cents, something like that. So we have here approximately 1,000% margin for profit. Okay, so this is an interesting fact. Most, almost all of our products are made from corn. This doesn't look like corn, but it is. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Of course, uh, th this is uh, corn syrup, right? It is in here. This is only what is in this product. So um, pretty much we are eating corn here, and there's an incredible amount of profit in this, over a thousand percent profit. So what's wrong with this? Partially, I have to eat I have to eat about three and a half of these a day to get my calories. And I've spent over twenty dollars to get the calories here. Boy. And the amount of corn is about nineteen cents worth of corn goes into this. The rest is profit. Boy, if I could just drink gas, it would be a lot better. <laughs> but I can't, unfortunately. I need the energy. I also need the nutrients. And unfortunately, the nutrients in here are, are uh, almost non-existent. So if you eat a lot of this food, you're going to have uh, serious health problems. And of course, looking ahead in the next generation, one out of three, one out of two people will have diabetes. In the next few years, the next... 10 years, the cost of health-related diseases will equal, over a trillion dollars, will equal the cost we spend on food. Okay, so we are causing a health crisis, and I would argue we're causing a lot more. If this is a timeline, starting where I walk, to where I finish, where I started, it's the start of agriculture, here is the present, that's 10,000 years in the future, that's 10,000 years in the past. Most species live 60, 60 times that, 1.3 million years. This is approximately 500 years. The oil age, and in fact it's a lot less, starting in the 1930s, but if we take 500 years, even the most conservative thinkers would say, I would be on a graph, this would be the blip of the oil age. Our food is completely, completely raised by this blip in even our agricultural history. And we go even further back. So we are producing food with oil and we're producing food at an incredible profit with an anonymous system where we have become completely disconnected with the source of the food. That's a health crisis, but we also bring walking down this line to our present psychological, psycho, psychological baggage, evolutionary baggage of being human. And being human is working together with our hands and our big brains in small groups to solve problems to feed ourselves. Hands, head, solving problems to feed ourselves. That is what makes us human, and we have derived health and soul from that pursuit. Right now, we are not only killing ourselves medically, but we are, in, in my sense, stripping the soul and the, the soul out of community. And it is about not having direct interaction with the food that are we are eating. We have no idea when we walk into the grocery store and there are 50,000 different products that 95% of those products are made with corn, soy, and maybe wheat, including the meat, the dairy, and it all comes from those very cheap commodities with 1,000% of profit, and that's what pays for the marketing. We are completely disconnected from what sustains us. I might be out of time. <laughs> so I will say the good news is that oil will not disappear tomorrow 
Uh, we have time. There is a, a very powerful movement in this state to start to make that connection. And that connection is more about, uh, more about finding ourselves and our spirit and our community, in my mind, than it is about finding our medical health. Thank you.